for aircraft model collectors, uh, this museum has a very interesting collection of original Fokker models uh, from the uh, 1920s and 19 teens. This is a Fokker 7A that uh, is displayed here. It's in beautiful condition. Very, very interesting piece. And here's yet another model. I'm not sure if this is original. It's in a beautiful condition. It's in original condition. But it might be a new production, I just can't tell. But yet again, the, the signage here at the museum is lacking as they make no mention as to what kind of aircraft this is. So, yeah, I'm gobsmacked. This is another uh, very interesting Fokker model, also from the 1920s. Unfortunately, the signage here at the museum does not even tell us what kind of aircraft this is, but it is beautiful. It's about a foot long with about a, I'd say, 20-inch wingspan made of wood. Beautiful, just beautiful. So this model, we're guessing, is an original. It has a clear interior. Uh, it's good size. Yeah, really nice model. This is again the store window of an original recreated KOM ticket counter and office. We have a bunch of models here. I'm thinking that they are all originals. The light is absolutely appalling, so they're not visible, which is very, very sad. Maybe it's done on, on purpose to preserve the integrity of the models. I, I don't know, but they are interesting. And there's a great collection of them here. Look at them all. Very, very, very interesting models. Probably the world's largest collection of, of pre-war 1920s era KLM travel agent models. It's fabulous. I just wish there was better. What we're light. looking at is a fabulous 150 scale DC-4 made of wood. This model was made in the KLM model shop. That was active from uh, the 1920s, I believe, up until the uh, early 1950s. KLM actually produced all their own, or many of their own models in the house. And they had their own model makers to produce their models. The KLM model maker that produced this was probably Hank Moderman. He was the most famous of the KLM model shop makers. And this is just a beautifully detailed model, as you can see. Great detail on the engine cowlings and uh, the top of the fuselage there and the, and the wing uh, detail is actually very, very nice. Very nice Conver 340 KLM from the early to mid 1950s. I believe it's probably a raise up model. Made it here in the Netherlands, of course. No maker's name, unfortunately, but actually looking at it, it seems to be made of wood, not metal, but it's certainly well preserved for its age. That's for sure. Beautiful, just a beautiful piece. For aviation model collectors, this is possibly one of the most interesting exhibits here at the entire museum. This is a model recreation of uh, Amsterdam's Schiphol Airport circa 1960. And the models are, are from that year, 1960. They are all, I believe, wooden models and they are unbelievably accurate. I'm going to give you a tour of them right now. That is a KLM DC-3, but look at this Electra absolutely magnificent. I have never seen models as beautiful as this. They are so accurate. They're like Nomoto models actually, but they're definitely not made by Nomoto. Have a look. The whole airport basically has all the current aircraft of the day. Electra DC-3, Convair, DC-8, Viscount, Connie, and DC-7. So we move down now to the Convair model, Convair 340. Look at that. What a work of art. The scale is 1 50th for all of these models, and they are hand-painted. They are absolutely stunningly beautiful. Then we move to the DC-8. That is the most gorgeous DC-8 model I think I've ever seen. It is so accurate. Look at it. It's magnificent. They've got the, end, the Conway engine reversers slid back there. Very nice wing detail. You can see at the back, the tail's got a crack, and that shows us that it's, it's made of wood. But the shape and the, and the quality of workmanship is absolutely fantastic on these models. 
second to none. I, I would give anything to have a model like this in my collection. From the DC-8, we scan over to the next aircraft, one of my all-time favorites, the Vickers Viscount. This is Viscount 800. Again, look at the detail on it. It is absolutely superb. The engine de-ice boots, the wing flaps, the various doors, panels, the scribe lines. Nice flap detail, but the wings have uh, interesting color, different coloration on the metal panels. And then we move to, from the Viscount to the Super Connie. And what a beautiful model that is. Tip tanks, 1960. She's ready, being serviced for a flight, actually. Magnificent piece of work that is. Look at that. Magnificent work, absolutely super. The last model in the collection is the KLM DC-7. Super accurate models these are, beautiful intakes. The shape is absolutely bang on. I wonder if they were made by Verkyle, I don't know, but it would have been someone of his skill level to produce these, because the shape is so nice on these models. They are not grotesque in any way. They're, they're real works of art that a true connoisseur such as myself and uh, I'm sure yourself, if you're a hardcore model collector, would agree that these are worth a fortune. I mean, I can't get over the Connie. Look at it. This looks absolutely smashing. Lines are just terrific. Unbelievable. I would give uh, anything to have one of these models in my collection. They're just beauties. In this case, we're looking at a Verkyle 1100 scale Transavia Boeing 707. Not a super rare model, but of course a beauty. Strangely enough, uh, Transavia 707 models, when they do show up, they tend to show up in mint condition like this one. So the people that have owned them have cherished them and kept them in great shape. So we saw the uh, Schiphol Airport 1960. This is a sister to that exhibit. It's from 1930. The models are, of course, uh, in a smaller scale. I'm not sure who made the models. They do look old. They're very cool. Uh, all from the 19, late 20s, 1930s era. And um, I'm not sure of the scale. They might be different scales, but it's a very beautiful presentation. Very nicely done, actually. This is a model, another model room we found. We have a raise up uh, 150 scale Connie, which is quite nice. And then another raise up model, the Lockheed Electra. It's about one, 144 scale, I'm gonna guess. And this model is a very old Fokker FV. F5. <laughs> F5, I guess, yeah. Sure looks old and original. And then the creme de la creme is this Lockheed sheet metal Connie. It's in pristine shape. So you're looking at $5,000 there. That is an absolutely gorgeous model. These are very much sought after. Note the, uh, the customized uh, Lockheed emblem on the stand. That is very standard of the Lockheed in-house models. Just really, really gorgeous. The model, I guess, is original. Sure, what that says, but um, the model is impressive. Made of wood, obviously. It's a Fokker uh, XV yeah, it, 1018. It's yeah. Fokker 18, uh, yeah. Wow. Very neat. So we have a uh, small scale, 1144 scale uh, F27, made by Verkyle. Very nice model, mint condition. So this is a 1930s era huge Fokker airliner. Not sure of the type, but it's got plug-in wings and it is accurate, beautifully made. Again, most likely made by the Fokker factory or maybe uh, Hank Moderman of the uh, Fokker KLM model shop. I don't know, but it's just a really nice model. Look at that behind glass so I can't really get a, a side view of it but it is incredibly impressive that's that's for darn sure. Two very rare models this is a uh, Lockheed uh, Lodestar and then this is a DC-5 they're made of wood definitely they're from the era so again I'm gonna say they're from the KLM model shop 
uh, by uh, Moderman. I've never seen models like this in the flesh, so they are really special to see. I'm just beside myself, pinching myself, and I'm actually seeing these works of art. Just fantastic. Another model, it just seems this museum has a non-stop supply of these 1920s models uh, from KLM. I'm just unbelievably uh, impressed. Yet another one, very cool stuff. Very, very neat. Hi, my name is Henry Tenby. I'm a serious collector of display models. And my new book, The Aircraft Display Model Collector, Investor, and Appraisal Guide is now available. I'd like to give you a tour of my book uh, so you can see what it's all about. It's 160 pages of glorious color, and we detail collections by some of the top collectors. There's also sections showing the results of models that have sold and what they've realized. We talk about all the main producers of travel agent models from the 1940s through to the 1970s. And within each section, we talk about the values of the key models produced by each of the manufacturers. My book is available at henrytenby.com.